education for over 25 years. I started off in pediatrics and went into child psychiatry because I really wanted to treat people with ADHD. I discovered of course that ADHD isn't limited to children, it affects adults as well. And I realized that as a clinical educator I was reaching pediatricians and people who treat children and adolescents. But it's been really hard to reach adult physicians, those are internists, family practitioners, nurse practitioners working in primary care settings. This has been a huge lack in, in, in our field, reaching out to the population of, of practitioners who can take care of adults with ADHD. So because of the recognition that there's a gap in what we have in the way of resources, I am particularly excited about this funded project to bring ADHD knowledge um, right to you so you can employ it at the bedside. Another important reason why I'm so excited about this, this program is that I'm the president of APSARD, the American Professional Society for ADHD and Related Disorders. And we exist in order to improve care for patients with ADHD. Our major focus is clinical education and also promoting scientific breakthroughs to try to improve the quality of care. And so APSART, as one of the primary groups, brings to the table experts, people who really understand ADHD inside and out. And I'm thrilled to be here along with my colleagues to share what APSART has been trying to share for a long time in a new and exciting way. In collaboration with CHAD, the most important patient advocacy group for ADHD, and with the help of INQUIL that really has grasped the best methods for imparting knowledge to, to physicians and other practitioners around the country. Music